my beloved child. I see the burdens you carry, the mistakes you feel have defined you, and the moments of regret that weigh heavily on your heart. Know that I understand every tear you've shed, every doubt that clouds your mind, and every choice you feel could have been different. But let me tell you, you are not condemned by your past. I am offering you something precious today, a chance to rewrite the story, a chance to start again. Each morning you rise, each breath you take, is a reminder of the grace that surrounds you. This second chance is not because you are deserving by your actions, but because of my endless love for you. I want you to know that I am not the God of one opportunity. I am the God of restoration. I am here to show you that even in your deepest failures, you can be made new again. Do not think for one moment that your errors are too great to be forgiven or that you have fallen too far to be lifted up. My arms are always extended, ready to embrace you, ready to guide you into a future full of hope and purpose. This second chance is not to be taken lightly, for it is a gift, one that many long for but few recognize when it's given. You may feel unworthy, but it is in your weakness that my strength will be made known. Do not look back with shame, but rather lift your head and look forward, for the path I have set before you is filled with the promise of a brighter tomorrow. You cannot change what has already been, but you can choose differently now. You can make choices that reflect who you are becoming, not who you were. Take this moment to pause and reflect. What is it that you want to build from here? What legacy will you leave behind? It is not too late to become the person you were meant to be. I am not concerned with the labels others have placed on you, for I see the real you, the person I created with purpose, the person who is capable of great things, the person who can transform lives simply by living in alignment with my will. I want you to let go of the guilt that consumes your thoughts. Guilt can paralyze you, but I offer you freedom. This second chance is your opportunity to step into a life that is not defined by fear, but fueled by faith. Trust that I have seen the end from the beginning and nothing surprises me. I know the journey you've been on and I also know where it leads. The road ahead may not be easy, but I will walk it with you. Do not waste this gift. It's not meant for tomorrow or next year. It's meant for now. The choices you make today will shape your future. I'm calling you to act, to move, to step into the destiny that awaits you. You are not forgotten. You are not overlooked. You are chosen. You have wondered if there is still time to fulfill the dreams that once stirred in your heart. Let me assure you, there is. If I have placed those desires within you, then I will make a way for them to come to pass. The delay you've experienced is not denial. It is a divine pause, an opportunity for growth, preparation, and realignment. You are right where you need to be at this moment. But my child, this second chance requires your willingness to let go of the old to make room for the new. You cannot carry with you the weight of yesterday if you wish to step into the fullness of what I have for you. Leave behind the bitterness, the anger, the frustration that has held you captive for so long. I am inviting you into freedom, into peace, into joy that surpasses all understanding. Do not fear what lies ahead. I have already gone before you, clearing the path, making crooked places straight. Your only job is to trust me, to walk in obedience, and to believe that I am working all things together for your good. Even the things you don't understand, even the moments that felt like setbacks, they were all part of the plan to bring you to this very point where you are being given a fresh start. This second chance is an open door. Walk through it boldly. Do not hesitate. Do not second guess yourself. You have been given a new lease on life and with it comes the responsibility to live differently. Live intentionally. Live with purpose. Live with the knowledge that every day is a chance to make an impact, to touch lives, to share my love with a world that is desperately searching for hope. 
There will be moments when you stumble, when doubt creeps in, and when the enemy tries to convince you that you are not worthy of this chance. But remember, my child, the enemy is a liar. He seeks to steal, kill, and destroy the good that I am building in you. Do not listen to his voice. Instead, fix your eyes on me. I am your anchor. I am your refuge. I am your constant in the midst of the storm. As you embrace this second chance, know that you are not walking this path alone. I have surrounded you with people who will uplift you, encourage you, and walk alongside you. Open your heart to them, for they are part of the gift I am giving you. You do not have to carry the burdens of this life on your own. Lean on those I have placed in your life, and together you will see the fulfillment of the promises I have made to you. Now is the time to take a step of faith. It is not enough to hear my words. You must act on them. Put into practice the lessons you have learned. Be a doer, not just a hearer. Your life is a testament to my grace, and through your actions, others will come to know me. Your obedience will lead to blessings, not just for you, but for all those who are watching your journey. Do not be afraid to take risks. This second chance is your opportunity to step out of the boat, to walk on water, to do things you never thought possible. With me, all things are possible. What you see as limitations, I see as opportunities for my power to be displayed. Do not limit yourself by what you think is possible. I am the God of miracles, and I am about to do something in your life that will leave you in awe. You are being called to something greater, something higher than you have ever imagined. Trust in my timing. Trust in my process. The seeds you have planted in faith will bear fruit, even if you do not see the harvest yet. Keep sowing. Keep believing. Keep moving forward for your breakthrough is near. You stand at a crossroads today, and the choices before you will shape not only your future, but the futures of those around you. Understand that every decision you make ripples out, far beyond what you can see. There are people whose lives you have yet to touch, people who are watching how you navigate this second opportunity. Your testimony, your perseverance, will serve as a beacon of hope to them. They too may be searching for their own renewal. By walking in the path I've set before you, you will lead them toward their own transformation, even without realizing it. What you must know is this. The past no longer holds power over you. The errors you have made, the wrong turns, the missteps, they are not chains to bind you. I have cut those ties. You are free. It is time for you to understand this freedom at a deeper level. It is not just the freedom from guilt or shame, but a freedom to become the very person you were created to be. Every mistake has been wiped clean in my sight, and all that remains is my vision for your life, pure and unblemished. You see, this second chance is not a repetition of what has come before. It is not simply a redo of old opportunities. It is entirely new. What lies ahead is different from anything you have experienced. It is not a recycling of past moments, but a fresh start. You may wonder why you've been given this new beginning when so many others are still struggling. Know that I have chosen you for this, and my reasons are rooted in love. I see your potential, the potential you often overlook. You were created for more than just survival, more than just getting by. You were made for greatness, for impact, for a life that overflows with my goodness. This is not a second chance meant for you to live for yourself alone. I am calling you to step into a life of service, of giving, of pouring out what I pour into you. There are those in need of what you carry. Your experiences, your trials, your victories, they are all tools in my hands to bring healing and hope to others. As you walk forward in this new chapter, be mindful of the opportunities to serve, to help, to lift others up. You are not meant to walk this journey in isolation. My love is best expressed when shared. You may feel uncertain about how to take the next step. That is natural. But know that I will be with you every step of the way. 
When doubt tries to creep in, remember that I am your guide. You do not need to have all the answers. You do not need to see the whole path. All you need to do is trust me for the next step. With each move forward, clarity will come. The light of my presence will illuminate the way, even if it's just one step at a time. This journey of renewal is not about perfection. It's not about getting everything right the first time. You will stumble. You will have moments of weakness. But remember, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you fall, I will lift you up. When you grow weary, I will be your rest. Do not place unrealistic expectations on yourself. I do not expect you to be flawless. I expect you to be faithful. Faithfulness is what I ask of you. Faithfulness to trust me. Faithfulness to move forward even when the way seems difficult. Faithfulness to believe that I am working even in the waiting. As you embrace this new beginning, I want you to take a moment to think about the things that once held you back. Fear, insecurity, doubt. These are the voices that have tried to convince you that you are not enough. But I am here to tell you that those voices are not the truth. My voice is the only one that matters. And my voice says that you are more than enough. You are equipped for every good work. You are chosen not by accident, but by design. I formed you with purpose, and nothing you've done can change that. There are dreams within you that have been lying dormant, dreams you may have given up on, but I am calling those dreams to life once again. They have not been forgotten. I have not forgotten the plans I have for you, and I will bring them to pass in ways you cannot even imagine. What you thought was impossible will become possible through my power, but it requires your willingness to believe to trust, to let go of the limitations you've placed on yourself and on me. Do not box me in. I am the God of all creation and nothing is beyond my reach. You are standing at the edge of something extraordinary. The next season of your life will be marked by transformation, by growth, by breakthroughs you never thought were possible. But with that will come challenges. Do not be discouraged by them. Challenges are opportunities for growth. They are not meant to break you, but to strengthen you. Every obstacle you face will serve to build your character, your faith, your resilience. I am preparing you for what is ahead, and part of that preparation is learning to persevere through difficulties. In this season, I will stretch you. I will call you to step out of your comfort zone, to do things that scare you, to take risks that require faith. But know this, I will never ask you to do something without equipping you for it. Every time I call you to step out in faith, I am already providing everything you need to succeed. You may not see it yet, but the provision is there. Trust me, you will not be left lacking. You will not be abandoned. You will not be left to figure it out on your own. Your life is about to take on new dimensions of meaning and purpose. You're going to look back one day and marvel at how far you've come. But in this moment, I am asking you to focus on the present. Do not get caught up in worrying about the future or regretting the past. I am here with you now in this moment. I am giving you everything you need for today. When tomorrow comes, I will give you what you need for that day too. My grace is sufficient for you day by day, moment by moment. This second chance is an invitation to live differently. It's an invitation to live with purpose, with intentionality, with a heart that is open to my leading. I'm not asking you to walk this path perfectly, but I'm asking you to walk it faithfully, to trust me when it doesn't make sense, to believe in my goodness even when the circumstances around you seem challenging. I'm working in ways you cannot yet see, and I will bring to completion the good work I have started in you. You are my beloved, and I am committed to you. My love for you is unwavering, unshakable, eternal. Nothing can separate you from my love. This second chance is born out of that love, a love that sees you at your worst and still chooses you, a love that knows every detail of your life, every thought, 
every action, and still calls you worthy. You are precious to me, and I will never stop pursuing you. I want you to take hold of this second chance with both hands. Don't let it slip away. Don't allow the doubts of yesterday or the fears of tomorrow to steal this moment from you. This is your time. This is your opportunity. You have been given a new beginning, and with it comes the chance to live a life that is full, a life that is abundant, a life that reflects my glory. This is not just a chance to survive. This is a chance to thrive, to flourish, to become all that I have destined you to be. As you move forward, I want you to remember that this journey is not about what you can accomplish on your own. It's about what we can accomplish together. I'm inviting you into partnership with me. You are not alone in this. Every step you take, I am with you. Every decision you make, I'm guiding you. Every challenge you face, I am strengthening you. You are never alone. I am always here, always present, always ready to help you. All you need to do is call on me. The road ahead will not be without difficulties, but it will also be filled with moments of great joy, moments of peace, moments of victory. I will give you beauty for ashes, joy for mourning, and praise for despair. You will see my hand at work in your life in ways that will leave you in awe. You will see miracles. You will experience breakthroughs. You will walk in a new level of freedom. This is your second chance, and it is full of possibility. Your life is a canvas, and this second chance is a blank space where new strokes of purpose can be drawn. You must understand that every decision from here on will create a future unlike anything you've experienced. In each moment, you are empowered to change direction, to redefine what your life will look like, not through the lens of past mistakes, but through the perspective of hope and faith. The journey ahead is not simply about reclaiming what was lost. It's about building something greater than you ever dreamed possible. The challenges you face may feel overwhelming at times. You may wonder whether you're strong enough or wise enough to navigate them. But I tell you this, Strength is not found in avoiding adversity, but in walking through it, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. There will be times when the path seems unclear, when the weight of uncertainty presses in. In those moments, don't rely on your own understanding. Trust in my guidance. My plans for you are good, and I will never lead you astray. You are not defined by where you've been. You are defined by where I am taking you. Remember that you are being shaped and molded for a purpose far greater than your current circumstances. The trials you face now are preparing you for victories yet unseen. With each step forward, you are becoming the person I created you to be. A person of courage, of resilience, of faith. This second chance is not just an opportunity for personal renewal. It is an invitation to affect the world around you in ways you never thought possible. There are lives you are meant to touch, people who will be drawn to me through the transformation they see in you. Your story is not just for you. It is a testament of my grace, my mercy, and my power at work in your life. You are a living witness to the fact that nothing is beyond redemption. As you move forward, I want you to focus not on what you can achieve, but on who you are becoming. This is a season of growth, a season of refinement. There will be moments when you feel stretched beyond your limits, but know that I am with you in the stretching. I am using every challenge, every obstacle to refine you, to shape you into the person you were always meant to be. Do not resist the process. Trust that I am at work, even in the things you don't understand. You have wondered what your purpose is why you have been given this second chance. Let me tell you, your purpose is to walk in my love, to share that love with others, and to bring light into the darkness. You are not here by accident. You were placed on this earth for such a time as this. Your life has meaning, and that meaning goes beyond your personal successes or failures. It is rooted in my eternal plan for you, 
a plan that is far greater than anything you could imagine. There will be times when the enemy tries to convince you that you are not worthy of this second chance, that you are somehow disqualified because of your past. But that is a lie. You are not disqualified. In fact, your past is what qualifies you for the great things I have in store. I have taken your brokenness and turned it into beauty. What the enemy meant for harm, I will use for good. Do not listen to the voices that tell you otherwise. My voice is the only one that matters, and my voice says that you are loved, you are chosen, and you are destined for greatness. This second chance is not a time for complacency. It is a time for action, for stepping into the fullness of who you are in me. I'm calling you to be bold, to take risks, to step out in faith. The world is waiting for what you have to offer. You have unique gifts, talents, and abilities that I have placed within you for a reason. Now is the time to use them. Do not hold back. Do not let fear or doubt keep you from stepping into your destiny. You were made for this. The road ahead will not always be easy, but it will be worth it. There will be moments of struggle, moments when you question whether you're on the right path. But remember, I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am your guide, your protector, your provider. When the road gets tough, lean on me. Let me be your strength when you feel weak, your peace when anxiety threatens to overwhelm you, your hope when despair tries to creep in. This second chance is not just about what you will do, it is about who you will become. I am more concerned with your heart than with your accomplishments. I am calling you to a deeper relationship with me, one that is rooted in trust, in love, in faithfulness. The things you do for me are important, but they flow out of who you are in me. Your identity is not found in what you accomplish, it is found in me. As you embrace this new beginning, remember that it is not about striving to earn my favor. You already have my favor. It is not about proving yourself worthy of this second chance. You are already worthy because I have made you so. This is not a performance. This is a journey of becoming, of stepping into the fullness of who I created you to be. You may feel like you've wasted time, like too much has been lost for you to truly make the most of this second chance. But let me tell you this, nothing is wasted in my kingdom. I can redeem the time. I can restore what was lost. I can bring beauty out of ashes. Do not let regret hold you back. Do not let the fear of what could have been keep you from stepping into what can be. The best is yet to come. You are standing on the threshold of something new, something beautiful, something beyond your wildest dreams. But it requires your willingness to let go of the past, to release the things that no longer serve you and to step into the unknown with faith. I know that can be scary, but trust that I am with you. I will not let you fall. I will not let you fail. I am for you, and if I am for you, who can be against you? This second chance is your opportunity to live a life of purpose, a life of impact, a life that reflects my glory. You were not created to simply exist. You were created to thrive, to grow, to shine. The world needs what you have to offer. There are people who are waiting for you to step into your destiny, people whose lives will be forever changed because of your obedience to my call. So do not waste this chance. Do not let fear or doubt or regret hold you back. Step boldly into the future I have prepared for you, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. You are not alone. You are loved. You are chosen. You are destined for greatness. My beloved child, this second chance is a gift. It is a gift of grace, a gift of mercy, a gift of love. I have given it to you because I believe in you, because I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Trust in those plans. Trust in my timing. Trust in my goodness. And now, as you embark on this new journey, let it be marked by intentionality. With every breath you take, 
understand that your existence is not random. You are part of a grand narrative, one that spans beyond what you can comprehend. In every step forward, you are actively participating in the story I've been writing since the beginning of time. Every decision you make, every act of kindness, every leap of faith contributes to the unfolding of my plan. It is easy to become distracted by the noise of the world, to allow the concerns of daily life to overshadow the bigger picture. But I want you to know that your life is more than a series of random events. It is a tapestry being woven with purpose. Each thread, though seemingly insignificant on its own, is vital to the whole. Do not underestimate the value of your role in this great story. In the coming days, you may encounter resistance. There will be forces that try to pull you away from this path. The enemy will attempt to sow seeds of doubt in your heart to convince you that this second chance is not real or that it is not for you. But I am here to remind you that this opportunity is indeed yours. It has been specifically designed for you and nothing can take it away unless you let it. Do not give in to the lies of the enemy. Stand firm in the truth of who you are and who I have called you to be. Your heart may feel the weight of uncertainty. The future may appear unclear and you may wonder if you have what it takes to move forward. But let me reassure you, you are not alone in this journey. I am with you and my strength is your strength. Where you see limitations, I see potential. Where you feel weak, I am strong. You do not have to rely on your own power to succeed. Lean on me and you will find that what once seemed impossible is suddenly within reach. This is a season of transformation, but transformation often requires change. Change is not always comfortable and it can be unsettling at times. Yet without change, growth is impossible. I am calling you to step into the unknown, to embrace the process of becoming who you were meant to be. It will not always be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, for refinement, for becoming more like me. The path ahead may be filled with moments that test your faith, but do not be discouraged. These moments are not meant to break you. They are meant to strengthen you. Faith is like a muscle. It grows stronger when it is exercised. Every time you choose to trust me, even when the circumstances around you seem uncertain, your faith grows. And as your faith grows, so does your ability to walk in the fullness of who I created you to be. You are being prepared for something greater than you can imagine. The struggles you face today are shaping you for the victories of tomorrow. What seems like a setback is often a setup for something far greater than you could have planned. Trust the process. Trust that I am at work, even in the moments when it feels like nothing is happening. Behind the scenes, I am orchestrating events, aligning circumstances, and preparing the way for your breakthrough. Do not fear the unknown, for I am already there. I go before you preparing the way. I am with you in every moment, guiding you, protecting you, leading you into the future I have planned for you. And that future is full of hope, full of joy, full of my presence. You do not need to have all the answers today. You do not need to see the entire path ahead. All you need to do is take the next step and I will take care of the rest. Remember that this second chance is not about perfection. I am not asking you to be flawless. I am asking you to be faithful. Faithfulness is more important than perfection. It is your willingness to keep moving forward, even when you stumble, that matters. I see your heart, and I know your desire to please me. Do not be discouraged by the moments when you fall short. My grace is sufficient for you, and my mercy is new every morning. Each day is a fresh start, a new opportunity to walk in my ways. In this new chapter, I'm calling you to live with a deeper awareness of my presence. I'm always with you, but I want you to become more attuned to my voice, to the promptings of my spirit. Spend time with me. Make space in your life to listen, to be still, to know that I am God. In the quiet moments, you will find clarity. 
in the stillness you will hear my voice and as you grow in your awareness of my presence you will find that i am leading you in ways you never imagined do not rush ahead there is no need to hurry my timing is perfect and i am never late sometimes the best thing you can do is wait waiting is not a passive activity it is an active posture of trust when you wait on me you are demonstrating your faith in my timing in my plan in my provision there is purpose in the waiting it is in the waiting that you are strengthened that your roots grow deeper that you are prepared for what is to come as you move forward in this new season i want you to cultivate a heart of gratitude gratitude shifts your perspective it allows you to see my hand at work in your life even in the smallest details when you choose to focus on what you have rather than on what you lack you open yourself up to receive even more of my blessings gratitude is the key to a joyful heart and a joyful heart is one that is aligned with my will your life is a reflection of my goodness every blessing you have received every miracle you have witnessed every moment of peace you have experienced is a testament to my love for you and there is so much more i want to give you but i want you to understand that my blessings are not just for your benefit they are meant to be shared as you receive give as you are blessed bless others this is how my kingdom works it is a kingdom of abundance of overflow of generosity you were created to be a conduit of my love a vessel of my grace a reflection of my heart the more you pour out the more you will be filled do not hold back do not be afraid to give of yourself to share what you have been given there is more than enough i am your source and i will never run dry as you give you will find that you are continually replenished continually refreshed continually renewed there will be opportunities in the days ahead for you to step out in faith to take risks to do things that seem beyond your ability but know this i have equipped you for every good work everything you need you already have the gifts i have placed within you are more than enough to accomplish the tasks i have set before you do not let fear hold you back step out in boldness knowing that i am with you and i will not let you fail this second chance is an invitation to live a life of significance a life that leaves a lasting impact on those around you you are not created to simply go through the motions to live a life of mediocrity you were created for greatness for influence for a life that reflects my glory but greatness in my kingdom looks different than greatness in the world it is not about fame or recognition it is about service about humility about love the greatest among you will be the servant of all this is the way of my kingdom it is an upside down kingdom where the least are the greatest where the humble are exalted where those who give receive the most as you embrace this second chance i am calling you to live with a servant's heart look for opportunities to serve to lift others up to be my hands and feet in a world that desperately needs love your second chance is not just about your personal growth it is about the impact you will have on those around you there are people in your life who need to experience my love my grace my mercy and i want to use you to reach them you are a light in the darkness a city on a hill that cannot be hidden do not be afraid to let your light shine do not hide who you are in me the world needs the hope that you carry as you move forward remember that i am with you always i will never leave you nor forsake you in the moments when you feel weak i am your strength in the moments when you feel lost i am your guide in the moments when you feel afraid i am your peace you are never alone my presence is with you even when you cannot feel it trust that i am working all things together for your good even when you do not understand this second chance is not just a new beginning it is a continuation of the story i have been writing in your life since the day you were born it is a story of redemption 
of transformation, of grace. And this story is far from over. The best is yet to come. The future I have for you is full of promise, full of hope, full of my presence. Trust in that future. Walk forward in faith, knowing that I am with you. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type, Amen.